So this is going to be part two of the hydraulic clutch install on the Retro Fox. We've gotten everything done under the bottom. If you guys need to see that video, you can check it out right here. Take you guys under here real quick just to show you what's going on. You will no longer have a clutch fork. You just have two lines that come out. So here's your clutch pedal assembly. And if I'm being honest, it looks pretty simple. I'm sure it's you know probably going to be a little harder than it looks. But very nice piece here. And as of right now, uh, this isn't sold as a kit. So in other words, the hydraulic ram and everything else doesn't come in a kit but uh, handling motorsports will be adding this so if you guys don't know this was sent to me courtesy of andrew over at handling motorsports they wanted me to install this and give them my thoughts on it it's even got your factory fox body pedal right here <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take a look at the pedal assembly and I'm going to do my best to explain to you kind of how this thing works. You do not have to take the brackets uh, out from the bottom of your dash, okay? So your, your pedal assembly does not have to be removed. What I want to do is show you the video from Malwood before we get started. That way you guys know. They honestly probably did a way better job than I'm going to be able to do to explain to you because I'm still under the dash. I will try my best to include some footage for you guys, but it's gonna be really, really hard. So it's going to bolt in your car basically like this, okay? This hole right here is what you're going to use to go into your factory stud, the rod that comes through. This has its own little mounting hole already in the bracket, and so does this, this hole right here. Oops, sorry, there we go. So at this point, I'll go ahead and show you the video from Malwood. Like I said, I think that's probably the best description and then uh, I'll get started myself and hopefully it won't be too bad. Catch you guys on the other side. Let's get started with the installation of your Mustang 79 to 93 Malwood clutch pedal kit. As you can see we've removed the pedal carrier and placed it on the bench. This is just so you can get a good look at everything we're doing during the install. You can install your pedal carrier in the vehicle underneath the dash. You do not need to remove this pedal bracket. The first step is to remove your original clutch pedal. Remove the nut and remove the clutch pedal, but save the nut, you'll be using it later in the install. Now you'll want to remove the original shaft from your clutch pedal to replace the bushings. You'll receive new nylon bushings in your kit. Before installing the bushing on the left side of your carrier, Install the spring into the hole indicated and then install the bushing. Now it's time to install your new Malwood clutch pedal kit. Line the holes up as indicated here in the video with the original holes on your pedal bracket. The small hole lines up with this original hole on the carrier. The large hole lines up with the lower left hole on your mounting bracket. You'll be using your original hardware. This 5 16 bolt provided in your kit will install through the inside of your carrier into the threaded piece on your Malwood kit. This 5 16 bolt threads through your Malwood bracket from the inside of your pedal carrier, firmly snug down this bolt. You'll use your original hardware to install the Malwood bracket onto your pedal carrier. This will be either a bolt or a stud coming from the firewall. The bracket must line up on this square indicator after you firmly tighten this with a three-quarter inch wrench. When installing your spring, the straight end of the spring must come down and over the tab indicated here. You can push this easily with your finger up and over the tab. To easily install your spring, pull your pedal forward Lift the spring out of the hole indicated and take the straight end 
and pull it up and over the tab. Hold the straight end firmly with your finger as you now reinstall your spring into the hole indicated. This will put pressure on the spring and your pedal will now operate fully. Your clutch should now have a full range of motion and have a nice feel. You've now completed the install of your Malwood USA clutch pedal bracket for the 79 to 93 Mustang. Installing your Malwood billet reservoir is easy. Just make sure that you locate your reservoir above this master cylinder. You can locate it on the firewall or wherever you like. Install your braided line and run this down to your hydraulic throwout bearing and your installation of your Malwood hydraulic under dash clutch pedal kit is complete. So first things first I'm going to try to take off the big nut that is actually holding the main assembly on. I'm going to go ahead and try to get that off and I'm going to try to use this because you don't have a lot of room in there okay so we'll see how this goes. Well, that came off good. Well, that's that. So your clutch pedal comes out fairly easy, as most of you know. I think this is not going to be too bad. So let me go ahead and regroup here, get my stuff together, and then we'll jump on the new install. All right, guys, it is done. Uh, sorry I wasn't able to shoot a lot of footage. Well, we got everything uh, pretty much wrapped up and ready to go. So we're ready to test the clutch and make sure everything's good. The only thing we've done right now is pour some fluid in it. Don't worry, I'll do an overview after this to let you guys know exactly what I did because I did have to make a couple alterations uh, to make this pedal work for me at least. But it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the pedal, if you can get it to go, is probably a 30 minute job. And then routing your hoses is another 20, 30 minutes. It's not bad but it is too it's under the dash so with all that being said though let's go ahead pump this thing up and see if it works all right so here is the drain line or um, bleed off if you will so i'm gonna go ahead and crack this open i'm just gonna crack it open and see if we can get any fluid to come out and start with So nothing at the moment. All right, go ahead and pump it. Okay, I can feel something working now. All right, go ahead and hold it. Yeah. All right. So let me talk about a few of the things that we had to kind of overcome. So you saw all the measurements. That's fairly cut and dry. And then the install. The install you don't have to take the brackets off just like the video says uh, but at the same time good luck getting your fingers up there and been able to get the bolt in which is the problem the bolt that they show that goes through the the bracket of your pedal uh, from the other side is near impossible i couldn't get it in so i'm going to tell you what i did i took that bracket and a longer bolt and screwed it through this side and then i caught that hole like this and used it basically as a stud but it was easier to do that than to put this thing through and tighten it all down that's not the right way to do it that's not the way they tell you but it's also braced the other end of the pedal assembly is braced down to the uh, inside of your firewall where your brake booster is there's a stud that sticks through and you just put that up there tighten it down so it's not going to go anywhere other than that pretty much those were the only things that i had to do to modify this thing let's talk about pedal feel What's this thing feel like? Come on in the car and I'll show you guys. As you can see, it looks completely stock from here. Completely stock. That's where I ran the uh, the line from, okay? So it goes right up into your slave cylinder up there and it just comes through. It's just hidden behind the carpet there. Pedal feel is softer than the cable clutch setup. The biggest thing that I'll say with this is it's very smooth and it's a little softer. So I think at this point, pretty much any clutch you put in this car 
it's probably going to stay about the same. It's not really going to get any harder, okay? It is lighter and it's going to be more consistent. The pedal feel is very consistent. So, and it's a short pedal as well. And I guess the other side of it is you don't have to move the pedal, but like that far and you're able to put it in gear and shift. You don't have to go all the way to the floor, you know? So it's a nice setup. It's made very well. If any of you guys are having trouble, like I said, you know, maybe nerve pain, maybe some knee issues, leg issues in general. I feel like that this would definitely help you for sure. Show you guys where we mounted the reservoir. So here it is. Very simple setup. The drain or the feed tube comes right down here. That's actually it right there. We just went right through that rubber grommet into the bottom of the floorboard. There's our fluid. Very nice. Very nice setup, guys. I do like the way everything's machined. Nice build of aluminum. Everything just feels of very high quality. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take you guys for a quick drive, and uh, we'll see how this thing does. I mean, I've, I've felt it on the rack, and I pretty much know what to expect. But I would like to drive it just probably down the road real quick, and then we'll see. Later on, I'll do a full review on it and let you know what I think after spending some time with it. So the clutch pedal is very freaking smooth on this thing way more smooth once you start driving it than it is just sitting still for whatever reason oh yeah guys this is sweet take some getting used to though if I'm being honest the clutch feels different but I like it extremely smooth engagement very short throw on the clutch okay I'm starting to see I think why people lean more toward the hydraulic setups now I, I can see a difference is what I'm saying it doesn't necessarily get harder as um, you push the pedal down further so I like it still I, you know I don't know if it's worth it for me personally but I can absolutely see why somebody would want to set up like this. Nice. So shout out to Hanlon Motorsports for sending this out and giving us a chance to try it out. So uh, also I want to let you guys know that they are working on making this a package. I think right now everything has to be bought individually. So your slave, um, your throw out bearing, um, your pedal, like all that stuff has to be bought separately, but they're working on a package right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up guys. And as always, thanks for watching.